kind of don't have a choice, right? I, I I have to cut off the finger. So we're we're gonna do that. If you are at all squeamish, you may want to look away. Hey guys, Dennis Machina here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm continuing with more of Heavy Rain Remastered. And the last video got done with uh, the butterfly with Ethan, which was a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I was able to survive and I wasn't a coward, so that's important. And uh, Mr. Shelby got a uh, sidekick in the form of the mother, one of the, the the first mother that we uh, interrogated about. Um, well, we didn't interrogate; we sort of questioned her about what was going on, and she really wanted to help out to get justice for her son. And we ended up crashing this party with this creepy rich dude. wasn't cool, wasn't fun. So let's continue on. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we're taking care of Ethan a little more here. I think that's, yeah, that's where he just was. More rain. Of course, that's the theme with this game. Lots and lots of rain. I'm gonna take care of Ethan. Yeah, he's all messed up. Oh my god. It's all bloodied, and he's unconscious. Alright, so, uh, let's see what we got. Hello, sir? Sir? Do you need medical attention? He's not responding, so he probably doesn't need medical attention. He's probably fine. He's good, right? He looks okay, right? He seems okay. He's just sleeping. He's just sleeping it off, you know. He had one too many jelly donuts. Yeah. That's why. That's why. That's what all that red is on on his uh, shirt, and it's magic on the back of his shirt. Don't don't ask me how that happened. Maybe he has a thing for donuts. You don't know. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? I cannot. He is in a donut coma. So we must wake him up from this donut coma. But first, I guess we have to look through his personal things for some reason. Origami figures. What is he doing with them? Okay, so he's up. So should I go and get more medical supplies while I'm in here? No? All right. No medical supplies for getting out of donut coma. Gotcha. Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Which is why I was in the bathroom. Are those burn marks on your chest? You've got a hell of a fever. <sighs> Don't mind me, stranger. I'm just gonna take off your clothes. Those wounds. When you're in a jelly donut coma, you have to uh, free yourself from all clothing. I don't know why that's a thing. It just is a thing. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Alright, so bathroom, yes. We must disinfect those jelly donuts. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. Uh, ointment. 
I don't know if there's a particular order I'm supposed to be doing these in or not. That should ease the pain. Okay, so disinfectants. Uh, where are we gonna put that? Your wounds are disinfected. Okay, now we do bandages. I'm just gonna continue to move it because I'm assuming, yep, there it is. Circling. That's all I can do. How do you feel, Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait and hope he wakes up. So I don't need to give him any medicine. Oh, that's probably one of the first things I should have done. I guess I kind of figured that was the last thing. Oh well. There's a trophy for doing that all in order. I'm not gonna get it. And you wanna take out your phone or something? Keep yourself busy? Is there a TV in this room? Maybe you could watch something? Okay, she's just gonna sit there then. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. You, um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Are you sure? 
Because I really want Maybe to. Maybe I could help you. No I... one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. That was your chance, Ethan, to get some help. Alright, so next origami thing you have to go through. Uh, this lizard-looking thing. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 uh, Marble Streets. Cool. So I'm assuming that's the next thing that I'm doing here. Could be wrong. Or maybe not. Okay, we're back with Madison. I didn't do it. Oh. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. So that's why you were fighting me? I, I remember cops, that. I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Hello? Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. It's the middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was... Police Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm uh -oh. sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Am I Sean to do Mars something alive, here? I don't give a damn about any bullshit. I showed a picture of Madison. Uh, convince, shrink, uh, convince. I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Um, reason. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you Th some free that advice. That didn't sound like a threat. I suggest you take it. Uh. Uh. No, I didn't. Life may depend Crap. What you know. Tell us what you know, doctor. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saying Oh, that oh, life. he's um so you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to He's know going a little really overboard. Can I stop? Okay, calm him. Calm him. Let's get out of here. Let go of me. You you have no right. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa there, Blake! Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. You have no right to hit him. 
I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you so, don't like it, leave. Oh my goodness, you need to calm yourself, sir. Ooh. What's up with you, Norm? How you get cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget Ethan Mars. Whatever, had man. Psychological problem since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Well, that's not good. Oh, good cop. Okay, so if I, I'm guessing there's one for bad cops, so if I just let him do whatever the hell he wanted, just sort of encouraged him, that would have given that? I have no idea. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. It's like Mr. Blake is really convinced here. Looks like we're going to interrogate somebody else. That might be the guy's father that we originally talked to in the last video. Yeah, your swing's perfect, honey. Your speed, your swing is perfect. Hello, sir. How you doing? Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Sure, why not? Jacket. Grab a club. Don't remember how to do this, but I'm probably gonna just look at it. Just FYI. Okay, take that one. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you oh dear, it, this is going to be bad. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder. I tried to. I did this. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. OK. 
Okay. That's great. Doesn't With mean all he's due not respect, so dick. Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. That doesn't matter, I guess. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shaw, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? Oh. I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shaw. If you do, you'll regret it. Oh, yeah? You're threatening me? Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. the hell out of it. Yep. Okay. That's great. I interrogate who I want. Hey, what is this one? Going there. Now, what am I doing in here? Oh, hello. Rats. Rats. Jeez. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. Can I break that one? There it is. some stuff some bad stuff is probably gonna happen though all right is there anything around here that I'm gonna need anything at all this place is pretty abandoned probably why the origami killer chose this okay can you turn around sir please thank you See what we got. <laughs> Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? I've already been you doing have that. Five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. Oh! If you succeed, you will get your reward. Oh my! Forgot he had to do this. Okay, um, I kind of don't have a choice, right? I, I, I have to cut off the finger, so we're, we're gonna do that. If you are at all squeamish, you may want to look away.
Yeah, I think this is gonna be hard for me to watch. Please, YouTube, don't demonetize this video for this. I beg you. Oh. Okay, so you didn't see anything. You're just assuming that it happened because of all the noise he's making. I gotta tell you, I don't know if I'd be able to do that. Unless there was like some sort of like guarantee or whatever. Unless I knew that there was like some sort of end game to all this, where I can get my son back. Then maybe, but doing having to do this blindly, I don't know if I can do it. Okay, so get more adding in here. Eight five two something Roosevelt. You don't want to keep part of your pinky as a souvenir? No? Just leave it behind? Alright. Okay, back to Madison. Butcha. Don't know what the other one is. I'll have to check that out after this is over. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Like they want me to go in here, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. She's going inside. She lives there. Oh, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Um. Shit. What's he up to in there? Um. Wait for That's a go a on my word. They're still out there. We've got to find another way. Okay, that was just the same door I was looking at. Great. Okay. Um. Uh. Not good at making quick decisions. Do this. 
again. Shit. It's too high. Oh, I've wasted my time. Lovely. Okay. Um. Um. What's this over here? What's 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 over here? No? Nothing? Okay, uh. I can't press it any faster. Come on. Stay here, Jake. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Okay, that's perfect. There we go. All right, Ethan, get your ass up. Cutting a little close. Well, not that apparently. Okay. Hey, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on, quick. I can't. Hands in the air. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman. Hey, where am I going? Is there is somewhere I'm going? Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Okay, we gotta get over there. Gotcha. The subway. Okay. Around here. Turn. Around. Turn. Around. Turn. And down the steps. All right, cool. Do we make it out of there okay or not? Or I don't know. Where am I going? Where? Straight ahead. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? We've got to keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. Straight ahead, got it. Thank. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me! I'm trying to walk through here. Careful. Yep. Excuse us, coming through. No reason to be vulgar. Just trying to get through. Stop or I'll shoot! No, you won't. Not in a crowd of people. Okay. Funny enough, it is actually raining outside, so. So I want to point that out while I'm playing Heavy Rain. Take and. Scooch! Scooch! People, seriously, you gotta walk a little faster. I don't know what's supposed to get on the subway or what. Oh. The tracks. We've got to cross the tracks. Hey. Quick, quick, Ethan, quick! It's gonna hit us. Hurry up, Ethan! Hurry up! God. Hurry the f up. There we go. Okay. 
Defeated the FBI. Fugitive on run. I'm a fugitive on run. I don't know why I'm singing that. I just am. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Thank you. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I, I sometimes have these blackouts, times where I don't know what I'm doing, as if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies, the bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Okay. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Yeah, because that's gotten you real far. Is there anything I can I can change into something else? Nope. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Cool. Oh, 
Okay, so let's uh, get back to origami business. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver, 6784 Long Way Road, Lexington. Kill him, send the picture, get your reward. God damn. Do we even get to find out this person's a good guy or not? My goodness. Okay, so I think that's where we're gonna cut it for this video. Apparently, Ethan's the origami killer. Don't know for sure yet, as far as this game is uh, concerned. You know, if you played the original before, you know what happens. But, you know, just going based off of what we know so far in this game, all evidence is pointing at Ethan. So, we'll see how it turns out in the next video. So, please give it a like if you're enjoying this playthrough. Comment down below. Uh, let me know... Uh, if you ever thought that Ethan was the killer, what were your theories at this point in the game? Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Ring the notification bell as I put out new videos every single day with reactions and let's plays just like these. And I will see you guys next time.